<laughs> All right, back at the start spotlight, we got my man. We got one of the one of the top kids coming up in the Whippeal, Brad Birch. So what you think about him? Good. Um, first quality man, leadership. You know, be able to lead a team as a freshman. You know, um, I mean, you see yards, sixteen hundred yards. Seriously, thirty touchdowns, man. Uh, it's impressive, man. A guy, fearless, man. Um, there was a a game this year against um um. What's the cat? Coach Rich is over at um Canavan. Canavan, right? They were watching film. I was talking to Coach. He said they were watching film. He threw an interception. The next series, he came back through the same exact pass for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just fearless, man. Kids, I mean, you know, he could just go. He's Still just, he's high. That's it. I like him. Right. I like him, especially one of the younger guys. Yeah, I like Birch. Um, I watched him in the uh, in the championship game. Like watched it live, mm -hmm. and um, like he came to play. Mm -hmm. You know, I seen him for making some throws, and I'm like, oh, he's only a freshman. Freshman, yeah. It's like wow. Yeah. He's a competitor. Uh, All right, here we go, Brad Birch. Mm, good ball. Mm -hmm. Out route to the field, right on the rope. Yeah, he can he can throw on some darts. Mm -hmm. And then one thing that's consistent on his tape, man, you see in the pocket, he's taking a three-step drop with a hitch, and that ball's coming out, mm -hmm. right? The decision is made. He's reading the safeties, and he's letting it go, letting it fly. So there's no reason to hold the football, and he's getting it out of his hands. So I know he's young, and I know, you know, we look at kids, you know, we've seen, I, I've seen so many guys throughout the years and then like for me you was probably one of the first quarterbacks that I seen that threw the ball you know what I mean mm -hmm. threw the ball now you got a lot of I've seen a lot of guys throughout the years mm -hmm. so where can you see this guy going in the future with his size already as a freshman man it's his size him and uh Julian Duggar man they're both some six foot kids you know as right. a freshman six foot um, probably about 170, right. you know, with arm talent, right. you know, and athletic ability to pull the ball down and run. So, um, I mean, if he continues to grow, the size won't be an issue, right. you know, so right. he'll right. be able to go anywhere nationally, right. um, depending on, you know, as he, if he keeps progressing and keeps getting better each, each year, right. you know, so um, wherever he wants to, right. you know, depending on, like I said, his size, potential, keep going, getting better, right. and um, then... 707 platform, man, will help him out a lot, too. Right. Get to see different defenses and get that experience, that exposure. Right. Um, the one big thing about quarterbacks, man, it's it's more about experience. You know, the Trevor Lawrence is being able to come in on a F, uh, FBS level right. and play right away. Right. It's because of that exposure, that Elite 11 stuff, the 707 right. um, things that they've got going on. And that's the biggest reason these quarterbacks are ready to jump in as freshmen right. on a high school level, college level. Because they're getting those reps, those yeah. throws in, seeing those defenses, and, and, and being able to identify and break them down. Right. That's, that's what's helping them out. And that's where the 7-on-7, seven seven, I noticed that from yes. you know, the height of 7-on-7, seven seven, that's what comes into play. Because mm -hmm. then they get to play against, even though you got a kid right here that's single way, mm -hmm. but on a 7-on-7 seven seven level, and we just ain't talking about hyping that up, but he's played against some of the top athletes in the mm -hmm. country throwing the ball. There you, go. you know what I mean? Yeah, that so, competition level on the seven on the seven circuit is just, you know, it's different. Quarterbacks is forced to throw in the tight windows. Right. You right. know, and that's the one time where you're really going to see tight windows consistently across the field, mm -hmm. no matter what read you're in or not, because you know, the you know, in the eleven on eleven game, you got a good tailback, play action, somebody's right. gonna be right. wide open. One on one work. Yeah. So yeah. Now, I, I I like I think the sky's the limit for this kid. You know, it wouldn't be surprise it wouldn't surprise me if he's a national recruit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? By the time he's, shoot, maybe this summer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Wouldn't even surprise me some of the calls I'm getting on him. So, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, the size is there. His, he had a live arm. Because, um, like, he's a baseball player too, right? Right, right. So, like, I mean, his just natural ability to throw the football right. is there. It's just, you know, mental. Right. You know, if he, you know, stays on top of his feet um, and, you know, mentally he can continue to progress. Right. And understand defenses, and you know, seeing stuff before it happens. You know, he, you know, he's gonna just continue to break records, and then, you know, like, you know, he'll be able to go, you know, anywhere he wants. Yeah, I, I actually talking about baseball. Had a Colorado Rockies scout call me about him. 
already mm. for baseball. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. The coaches down there doing a good job scheming guys up too, man. Right. Putting, a, putting him in a position to get the ball out of his hands, right? Right. Screens. Um, you know, a lot of play action, run action stuff in the pocket. Mm -hmm. That ball's in and out of his hands quick, right. you know? And you see how valuable he is to, to his team. Mm -hmm. You know, he got hurt in that championship game uh -huh. late in the game. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it cost those guys a state championship. Right. You know, they lost a close game. Right. 